Hello guys, ObeyFX here, and today I'm going to have a tutorial on how to make an exploding text in using Cinema 4D. So, first you're going to want to go and open it. Um, once you open you're going to want to go to your render settings and go to the output tab. Change the output to 1280 by 720, which is HD right here. Go to the save. If you're using a map, go to QuickTime. Um, and then basically pick where you want it to save. Okay. And then from here, you're gonna wanna set a floor down. I usually do. Just about there. You're gonna go I'm gonna MoGraph, add a Mo text. For the sake I'm gonna name it tutorial. Uh, I'll make the depth sixty. Make it bold, put it to the middle, just leave the text the same uh, font for the sake of the video. I'm gonna add a texture just so it's not so plain. Alright, so from here, you're going to want to click on the Mo text, go to the bend, and then go to explosion. There is an explosion effects, but go to just the explosion. going to bring the explosion, make it a child of the Mo text. And then you see here, if you go to strength, and you increase it, it explodes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it at zero. Gonna go down to the keyframing right here, hit the middle one, and then hit key the one right here. We're gonna go to about 60, which will be two seconds. Hit key, change the strength up to 100. Hit keyframe, and then go back. You're gonna see the text flies. So from here, you can. To a nice view. Press play. It'll explode. Alright, now we're gonna add, just to make this look nice, add a light. Bring it up. Bring it back. Gonna put a, sh a shadow. Shadow map soft render it out. That's how it's going to look. Alright, now I'm going to do a render preview. Yeah, and by the way, this is um, using Cinema 4D R15, just in case you didn't know. And so here's a little preview of it. It's just exploding. You can go backwards. And so, once you're satisfied with the way it looks, go to render it out and then just put it to where you want. That's it for the tutorial, guys. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, just message me or leave it in the comments down below. Um, I'm also going to be making a tutorial using Throwsy, which is what I usually use. It's an extra plugin. It's right here. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's a much better way to approach it. So, see you next time, guys.